Mad Kids here today. I'm just going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to run an executable like something that you've made with chmod plus x run from a terminal. Some of you have had issues with opening something from your desktop. Well, I'm going to show you how to run stuff right through a terminal. First of all, I'm going to cd to my desktop because I have these nice two great executables on my desktop. And um, I'm going to be showing you how we are going to run them. First of all, I'm going to I'm going to be running Screensaver. And so right now I'm going to type pwd and I'm going to do this two ways. First of all, I'm going to do dot slash Screensaver, and dot just means my current path. So that's slash user slash Alex slash desktop slash Screensaver, and all I have to do is type the path of the executable and now my screensaver program is running like such um, so I'm just going to control C out of this and um, now uh, I can also just type the full path like slash users slash Alex slash desktop slash screensaver and that's the full path of it and I just hit enter and it'll start running so now um, I can also do this for crash screen, which is another executable I have here on my desktop. So let's start by typing slash user slash Alex slash desktop slash crash screen. Now I have to type, the, I don't have to type the full path. I could just put dot there instead of this crap. So yeah, now I hit enter and my crash screen program is running like such um so i've just showed you how to launch an executable from the terminal i'm going to explain one more thing to you that um when you start an executable you can't just be say i'm in my desktop and there's something crash screen you have to still type the path of crash screen like dot slash crash screen at least. You can't just type crash screen or it'll think crash screen is a standard command. You have to type the path of it like dot slash crash screen. So, yeah. Now I'm just going to cd dot dot back to my home directory. cd dot dot goes back. And it actually goes back by one directory. So if I was in slash user slash Alex slash desktop, it would go back to slash user slash Alex and take off the desktop. So now I'm back here in my home directory. Dot slash crash screen won't work anymore because those executables are on my desktop. And this is my home directory. So what I could do, there are two ways. I can either type slash users Alex desktop slash crash screen to launch crash screen that's on my desktop or I could type dot slash desktop slash crash screen what that will do is it'll do my home directory that's dot slash desktop slash crash screen and that's going to be good enough to launch it so now um, yep, yeah, that's how to do it. It's, um, very simple and easy. To, um, thanks for watching, Mac Heads, and subscribe.